We good? We hot? We filming? Uh, yeah. All right. Hey everyone, my name is Jeremy Ebersol, class of 2005. I wish that I could be there with you chatting in person right now, but I'm actually in New Zealand and I have a working holiday visa and I'm working my way across New Zealand. The only places that I had gone prior to really coming to Elizabethtown as far as international travel, really just right across the border in Canada, or in Mexico. BCA was starting their first program in Australia, and so I went and spent a semester in Sydney and traveled all up and down the East Coast and swam with fish and sharks and giant clams in the Great Barrier Reef and drove around the largest sand island in the world, Fraser Island, and met amazing people from all over the world. It really kind of sparked this interest in getting to see different places, different people, getting to know different cultures and kind of appreciating those cultures not only for what they are but for what they can bring to my understanding of the of kind of the greater society how things work together and just appreciating things that are different I set up uh, what I call the year of living spontaneously authentically and peacefully and I said for this year I'm going to do everything as peacefully as possible and try to have all my experiences be very authentic and spontaneous, which is not something that I generally am, but I thought there's a lot of really cool things that can happen if you just relax and let, let yourself kind of enjoy and go with, with what you're feeling to an extent. So I set up this trip and I ended up going to Germany last summer. Uh, where I worked with an organization called Volunteers for Peace. And so I was in Germany with 17 other young adults. I was the only American, the only native English speaker, the only person who had ever been to the Western Hemisphere <laughs> at all, uh, and was working on building a Roman labyrinth uh, in Bavaria. After Germany, uh, I came home and did a little bit of planning, um, and I decided to go all out. Uh, I'd always wanted to go to Tikal, the Rome, or the, excuse me, the Mayan ruins in Guatemala. Uh, I'd just been fascinated with these ever since learning about them in like seventh grade Spanish class. And then I figured while I'm down there, I should go to the Galapagos Islands, which in the grand scheme of things are fairly close. So they're a couple hundred miles away. The earth is big and that's not very far. And so I found a program run in the Galapagos, actually by a former BCA employee called Galapagos Ice that is about the only organization in the Galapagos working with the 30,000 or so people who live there doing education, uh, environmental work, and basic healthcare things that they don't have. After I found these two, I thought, well, it's a shame to skip over the rest of Central America. So I found a place in Costa Rica, which is right in the middle, more or less, uh, that works with sloths. Perezoso in Spanish, that's this guy here. Um, cool little misunderstood animal. They're not dumb, they're just slow. And so I worked with sloths, uh, me carrying baby sloths around these amazing nature trails and canoeing through these rivers and walking to this Rastafarian village on the Caribbean coast. It was a cool, cool experience. Now, as I'm filming this, it's early June. Um, here for a week and I'm headed to Israel uh, in about a week to do an archeological dig uh, that I found online uh, uh, at Tel Rehov in the Beth Shion Valley. Uh, we're digging up the remnants of Bronze and Iron Age cities. Uh, a couple hundred years worth potentially are under there. Uh, after that then I'm headed to New Zealand, as I said, where I am at this moment, uh, assuming everything went as planned, uh, where I got a working holiday visa that allows me to travel around the island uh, and take any job that I want for a year. Uh, so that's, it ended up being the two years of living spontaneously, authentically, and peacefully. But I kind of boiled it down to four reasons why I think traveling is so interesting. I think, number one, it gives you the opportunity to really challenge yourself, put yourself in situations where you're forced 
to rely on your own ingenuity and problem solving. When you're in these situations where you have to do it, where you have to figure out how to get from point A to point B and you don't speak the language, they're just, well, you gotta do something. And doing those things, I think, really gives you perspective and confidence. Number two, it's really cool to have variety all the time. Be in one place and the next month be somewhere else and be experiencing each time something that's totally new, totally outside my frame of reference. Number three, I think, uh, the authenticity of traveling. Uh, there's something really neat about working with things that feel authentic. To experience authentic Guatemalan culture, to be able to experience Mayan culture in Guatemala, all of these things are just something that you cannot do in the United States to be able to expand your horizons that way. And that's number four, just like I said before, expanding your horizons, experiencing different ways of living in different perspectives. Finally, I want to leave you guys with a quote uh, by a guy named Andrew McCarthy, uh, who is a travel writer. He's written a lot for National Geographic Traveler. And he wrote an article and he said the following. Instantly, I experience a sense of freedom that I relish one that allows me to feel most myself. I'm struck with the thrill of possibility, a thrill I always seek and seem to find most often in travel. My world becomes small in a way that delights me. Here, details of life I rarely allow myself to focus on back home reveal a pattern of human behavior that connects me to the broader world. I find identification with nearly all, no matter how unlikely. I think that's better than I could say with all of this gathering about why travel and global citizenship. Uh, the idea of being a part of a larger world that goes beyond what we know is something that's very important. Thanks guys, enjoy E-Town, it's a great place.